It takes all of my strength not to think about Greenlee when I look at Spike. How can you? Because I can hear him laugh and, you know, I tickle him until he smiles. We do stuff together. We eat cookies together, you know. It's not that easy. I mean, when, when, when Spike got out of the operating room today... Kendall, Spike will hear again. He will hear again. But Greenlee, I think she's been punished pretty harshly. You know, and now she's God knows where. She's with Zach. Wherever he is, Zach is surviving. He is out there, and he is coming back home to us. He is definitely okay. coming back right, to I'm us. Sorry. He has to. Okay. He's going to. I, I didn't mean to get you all. Okay, well, then, okay. then don't. Then right. don't. Okay. 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 I'm just curious. About what? If Greenlee walked through that door right now, what would you do? What would you say to her? I don't know, Ryan. I honestly don't know. Hey, who was that? Who was that? What is this? I don't know. I don't want to go down there. Then quick, give me a run. The towel into a hole? You think they fell in there? It's possible. No way am I eating snake. You need the protein. You know, reptile just, it doesn't go with my diet of dirt and water. You're eating it. No, you just, you go to town, okay? I'm gonna... Is there any more booze left? No, it's all gone. Party's over. Hey, Greg. Just can't. I can't breathe, son. Come on. No, there's no air. Just close my eye. No. You can do this. Damn you. Damn you for saving me. Damn you for taking that poison out of my body. You just should have left him in there. You can't stop me from taking my daughter to babes. Watch me. Besides, if you walk out of this house with her, how long do you think it's going to be before Adam manipulates you back into that? Nobody home manipulates you? me, Tad. Not even you. Crystal, you can go, but Jenny's staying. What part of I'm her mama don't you understand? You didn't get to be her mama by yourself. I am leaving. And my daughter is going with me. Our daughter is staying right here. You don't want to do this, Tad. No, I don't. That doesn't mean I won't do it. You have no right to keep me away from my daughter. My lawyer knows every greasy thing that's happened between you and Adam. He knows every despicable thing that Adam has done. All I got to do... Just make one phone call, and a petition for temporary custody will be in his hand. You son of a... My daughter needs me. Don't you dare stop me from going to her. It's okay, baby. Come here, baby. No, Mama's here, baby. Mama's here. Ted's the one making her miserable. Are you kidding me? Tad has lost more than anyone. Oh, that's open to debate. He lost Dixie. Again. Jamie's halfway around the world playing doctor. He lost Kate in some uh, adoption black hole. Kate would be six years old. I doubt he's ever going to find her. But he does have Jenny. And he needs to hold on to her. Kate, sweet, dear, sweet Kate. She's, uh... Could be anywhere. Don't pretend like you care. Fine, fine. But we've talked this 
Martin think to death. And Todd will fight to the death over his daughter. Yes, I'm sure he will. For both of them. You're stupid if you go up against him. Crazy stupid! you got on baby Kate. My trip to New Mexico has been very enlightening. I don't need a travel log, just some facts. That girl, the one on the document, she was legally adopted by the Mershons in Albuquerque. Miss Kathleen? Yes. Yes, they got her from Switzerland, all facilitated by Dr. Greg Madden. And the dates match up? Exactly. Kathleen Mershon was born the day Dixie gave birth to Kate. They're one and the same. You're positive? Oh, yes. Well, well, so Ted and Dixie's daughter is Kathleen. Mary, you have made my day. You know the Mershons are deceased. Yes, I understand that car accident is tragic. And uh, Julia Santos is raising little Kathy now. Little does she know. You haven't seen or heard of Ted fishing around out there, have you? No, no. I don't see how he could. Madden covered his tracks. Unless you had the child's name, there's no way you could find her. Dad has no idea how close he is. Here. She needs to get some sleep. Let me take her. It's okay. It's okay. Go with Dad. Okay? Go with Dad. Good night, honey. Mama loves you more than anything. More than anything. Come on, honey. Come on. This is not over, Dad. I die from a snake bite, or suffocation, or starvation. It's all the same. Ma, we work too hard. We're not giving up now. Come on. All I've done my whole life is fight. It's old, and I am tired. We're here because we work together. We're alive because we work together. And now we got to stick together. Great. Stick together. Go team. Hey. You're not giving yourself enough credit. You're smart and you're very strong. You've impressed me, Donnie. Don't let me down now. Come on. Get together. Stay strong. I'm not losing you. There's no voicemail at the, the landline at the shack. What about a cell? There's no service out there. And Aiden told me he would call me with any news. Okay, well, there's, there's an ice storm coming. He probably is just stepping up the search before it hits. That's all. No. Joe. Hello. Hi. I hope I'm not interrupting anyone. No. No. No, 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 it's okay. Are you coming to check up on Spike? Yeah, no. How is he doing? Well, he is still out like a light. Yeah, thank you for everything. You know. Well, I'm glad I found you two together because uh, there is something we need to discuss. Is, is it about Spike? Is he okay? It's something we found out in Spike's post-op test results. It concerns his deafness.